of the big shoulders. They tell me you are wicked, and I believe them. For I've seen your painted women under the gas lamps, luring the farm boys. And they tell me you are crooked. And I answer, yes, it is true. I've seen the gunmen kill and go free to kill again. And they tell me you are brutal. And my reply is on the faces of women and children, I have seen the marks of wanton hunger. And having answered so, I turn once more to those who sneer at this, my city. And I give them back the sneer and say to them, come and show me another city with lifted head singing so proud to be alive and coarse and strong and cunning, flinging magnetic curses amid the toil of piling job on job. Here is a tall, bold slugger set vivid against the little soft cities. Fierce as a dog with tongue lapping for action, cunning as a savage pitted against the wilderness, bareheaded, shoveling, wrecking, planning, building, breaking, rebuilding. Under the smoke, dust all over his mouth, laughing with white teeth. Under the terrible burden of destiny, laughing as a young man laughs. Laughing even as an ignorant fighter laughs, who has never lost a battle. Bragging and laughing that under his wrist is the pulse, and under his ribs the heart of the people. Laughing. Laughing the stormy, husky, brawling laughter of youth, half naked, sweating. Proud to be. Hog butcher. Tool maker. Stacker of wheat player with railroads, and freight handler to the nation. Thank you. How you doing? <laughs> so, Sophia and I are going to do a little piece by an artist that may or may not be that well known. He goes by the name of The King, Elvis Presley. Oh, good one. I don't know. No. Nope. Tell me about him. I need a biography. Uh, so we're going to be doing a song entitled Can't Help Falling in Love With You. And I'm going to be right so good. Oh, again. <laughs> A comedy act would have been great. Wise man say, only fools rush in, but I
that your dreams came true. Guess she gave you things I didn't give to you. song. How you doing? Happiness hit her like a train on a track. Coming towards her, stuck still, no turning back.
Okay. You know, we teachers like to talk, so I'll tell you my story now. Um, you know, I actually had a different song planned for tonight, but uh, when I heard that the theme for tonight was Candyland, it brought me back to my childhood. And uh, I was thinking about how uh, when I was younger than you are now, and I used to come home from school, my little brother and sister would be at home, and uh, lots of times when I got home, uh, we played Candyland. And um, on Monday nights, when uh, it got to be near 7.30, uh, we'd stop playing Candyland, because on Monday nights at 7.30, I always had to watch the monkeys. And uh, I was thinking about Davy Jones, who passed away a couple of days ago, and uh, I changed the song that I wanted to sing. And uh, I asked Nick if he had a uh, little karaoke music for me, because uh, this is a song that I didn't want to sing a cappella, but I've never sung karaoke before, so I'm going to do my best. So. Yeah. Woo, Dr. Katz! Yeah! This is Daydream Believer uh, by the Monkees. Good song, good choice. Good choice. Good choice. Come on, Nick. Your job. You need supply. Oh, I could hide beneath the wings of the bluebird as she sings. The six o'clock alarm. Would never ring, but it rings and I rise, wipe the sleep out of my eyes. The shaving razor's cold and it's scary. Cheer up, sleepy cheer. Oh, what can it be? You are. Belated birthday. <laughs> Why I teach high school. A poem in bullets. One, because both of my parents were teachers. Two, because Mrs. Rubinstein, my first grade teacher, wrote on my moon cat poem, You Really Are a Poet, Melanie. <laughs> Three, 
Because if I taught elementary school, some knee-high kid would need me to blow his nose while I zipped his jacket, tied his left shoe, and explain to him that boogers belong in his nose and not on his desk. <laughs> Four, true story. Because at 13, I broke up with someone by using a red pen to correct all the grammatical mistakes he'd made in his last love letter. <laughs> Five, because there is much more to English than grammar. Six, because after school in an empty house, all I ever needed was a Judy Bloom book and a big bag of sour cream and onion potato chips. Preach. Seven, because in high school, I didn't know how many calories were in said big bag of sour cream and onion potato chips. Eight, because as long as I don't look in the mirror, I can swear I am 16 and cutting AP US history to play ultimate frisbee on the front lawn of the school only to realize later that the windows to my AP history class looked out onto the front lawn of the school where I was playing ultimate frisbee. <laughs> Nine, because in high school, I was never the girl who got kissed in the hallway. Ugh. 10, because I have never tasted anything better than diner fries at midnight, smothered in mozzarella, swimming in ketchup, split four ways with the friends who knew all my secrets. 11, because I spent my high school and college days writing the graduation speech I would read if I was valedictorian instead of actually studying to become valedictorian. <laughs> 12, because high school theater people are my kind of strange. 13, because Billy Spitzberg, the kid with the keys, could get us into the auditorium anytime we wanted. 14, because in high school, we fervently believe that guys and girls can be just friends. 15, because driving alone for the first time is like coming up for air. 16, because there are no best friends like high school best friends. It's true. 17, because in high school you can fall in love three times in a given week and mean it from the bottom of your heart. 18, because I was the kid who always got almost A's in my classes without doing homework and I swore I'd never let my students get away with that. 19, because prom is like Oscar night. 20, because I believe everyone in the world should hear John Proctor say, because it is my name and I cannot have another. That was my line. 21, because for 40 minutes, four times a day, five days a week, I have a captive audience, some of whom even believe I have something important to say. 22, because in high school, there is nothing more important than the very moment you are living in. Nothing more devastating than a bad grade or more gratifying than knowing your best friend will be waiting at your locker to hear the scoop on what a tyrant your math teacher and your mother are. <laughs> 23. Because being surrounded by students who are still figuring out how they are going to conquer the world is like peering through God's keyhole on the sixth day of creation. 24, because for me, this high school, you are everything. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
look over here because Demaris decided she wants to put a camera in my face. So. That's fun. Huh? Hey, Moni. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> I don't even remember the words of my song, Dress. Won't you come on over? 